Hello, my name's Susie Johns. I'm an art teacher and I teach at a local college, um, an adult educa education college. And one of my most popular courses is a course called Learn to Draw. The college is closed at the moment, so I've been doing some online tutorials. I've done the whole Learn to Draw series, the whole Learn to Draw course, which is 11 lessons, 11 separate lessons. And um, we start with uh, pencil drawing, graphite pencil, and work our way through line drawing and um, tonal drawing. Then we introduce coloured pencils and watercolour pencils, and then pen and ink. So um, for the coloured pencil uh, lesson in the course, when I'm teaching my students, I usually tell them to um, not to get the cheapest coloured pencils. And it's difficult, I know, because um, sometimes buying art materials can be a big outlay. And coloured pencils, the premium coloured pencils, the best sort, are extraordinarily expensive, um, especially if you buy a big set. Now, all my coloured pencils at the moment are locked up in a cupboard at the college and I can't, I can't get them. So I thought I'd better buy myself some coloured pencils. Now, normally I would buy pe coloured pencils um, individually. I'd just buy the colours that I want and the colours I want to use. I very rarely buy a set of coloured pencils. Um, but somebody recommended um, a, a particular brand of coloured pencils and I thought I'd try them out for myself to see if they were very if they were good because they're extremely moderately priced and I was worried that you know because they were a, a low price um, because they were a low price they would not perform as well as I wanted them to but I, re I received them in the post this week and I thought I'd try them out So these are the pencils. They're made by a company called Castle, Castle Castle, um, and they're made in Britain. And this is their pack of 72 pencils. You can buy them in a tin, but I thought I'd try this nice wallet. Um, so the wallet is like this with a zip. So if I only zip it, you'll see that the pencils are arranged in groups of 12 and they're all in numerical order 1 to 72. There's two little leaflets as well and um, one's a colour chart and um, the other one's a project which I'll show you later. Each pencil has a colour description, a name printed on the pencil as well as the number. So we had the yellows and the oranges and reds, purples, blues, quite a lot of greens, a few greys and black and white. Inside, uh, on, on the cover, you can see this, this griffin, which is done in coloured pencils. And um, inside, there's a kind of little step-by-step -step project for colouring in the griffin. So to test the pencils, I'll, I'll have a go at doing this project. I'll select some colours. It doesn't tell you exactly which colours they've used, so I'm just going to choose a selection of yellows and blues. It does say rich golds and browns, so I'll put a few of those in as well. I'm going to choose one shade of orange for now, and I might come back for some more later, and then um, a few shades of blue as well and I'll choose white for the highlights. So it says to begin by outlining the griffon and I've enlarged it on a photocopier and transferred it onto cartridge paper using an HP pencil and then taped the paper to a piece of smooth card so there's no texture underneath. And we start by colouring the light areas um, with a pale yellow and a pale blue. And the colour goes on nice and smoothly. I'm not applying very much pressure at all, uh, but I'm still getting quite a nice lot of colour, even with the very light pressure. So um, then once that's done, add some detail using rich golds and browns. 
Um, layering one colour on top of another is very easy to do. It accepts the colour very well and you can just build up one layer on top of each other. You know, starting with the lightest colours and then going slightly darker. And then it says to enhance the creature by adding highlights and richer tones. The finished picture on the leaflet is very deep and dark and rich, but I think I'm going to stop in a minute. But I think I've learnt enough about these coloured pencils to see that they blend well. Um, they, you can overlay them and blend them very, very easily indeed. So I'm very happy with the result indeed. So the conclusion is that I'm very happy with this purchase. Um, these pencils are very, very good indeed, and I would definitely recommend them to my students. So thanks for watching. Thank you.